to understand the meaning of chart of accounts and chart balance. Chart of accounts is a list of all names of accounts with account codes. So in an organization there are assets, liabilities, equity. Under equity there's owner's capital, revenue, expenses, dividends, and drawings, and retail earnings. The chart of accounts lists all the account names under these categories. Not only that, it will also assign numerical codes for these accounts. Trial balance on the other hand is where we can ask the accounting information system to give us the balances as they are in these accounts at a given time. So if the entries have been done correctly as debits and credits, if they balanced when the transactions were entered, were recorded, then the final balance of total debits and total credits should be equal. Here's a graphic example of chart of accounts. In this, you can see assets liabilities, revenue, and expenses. And under those categories, you also can see various account names. But in addition to those account names, there are numerical codes that identify each account. But when numerical codes are assigned, assets in this instance starts with 1. Liabilities start with 2. Revenue starts with 3. And expenses starts with 4. So when in an organization, when we look at an account code that starts with one, we know it is an account that is under the asset category. So similarly, accounts under two will be liability, three under revenue, and four under expenses. Here's a graphic example of a trial balance. So at a given time, when account information, account balance information is being called upon from the accounting, accounting, accounting information system, it will provide us with the final balances. It could be a debit or a credit. So it will line up the debit balances into one column and line up the credit balances into another column and total them up. And the total should be equal. So that is a prerequisite. Trial balance, preparing trial balance is a prerequisite for preparing financial statements. The balances must be equal. The chart of accounts is like the backbone of a person. 
it is what defines the structure of the organization, the counting structure of the organization. So the chart of account can differ from organization to organization depending on the type of activities organization conduct. And it has been reviewed annually to find out which accounts have been active and which accounts have been inactive. Any inactive accounts can be later removed. Trial balance, on the other hand, provides us with the balances, the account balances. It tells us that transactions have been entered in a way that debits are equal to credits. But it doesn't tell us whether when transactions were entered whether they have been correctly entered into the correct accounts. So that is a limitation in the trial balance. But on the assumption they have been correctly entered, if they are entered based on the accounting equation, then the debits must equal credits. 